assalam alaikum girls we are done with chapter 8 last week and now in week 6 of term 2 we are going to start chapter 8 chapter 8 is a very important chapter in terms of your exams often a lot of questions come from chapter 8 in relation to physical safety e safety and so on so let's start with chapter 8 section 1 which is on physical safety today as a starter let's try to think what health effects can be caused by prolonged use of ict equipment you can actually think and reflect over the experience you had last year when corona was at its peak and you were all studying from home you were spending a lot of time in front of ict equipment what sort of health effects could be caused by this give it some thought if you've thought about this let's move on and we will summarize some of these health effects ourselves in this lesson the objectives we are trying to cover are as follows we are going to describe some common physical safety issues and what causes them we will describe some simple strategies for preventing these issues and we will also evaluate our own use of ict equipment and think of strategies that can minimize safety risks as a success criteria for this lesson you must definitely be able to list the various health aspects of prolonged use of ict you should try to be able to describe the various strategies that help prevent it and as an extension you could be able to suggest various ergonomic changes that you need to make to the ict lab so that we can all be having better health and safety physical safety is actually divided into two things one is the health aspects of safety and one is the safety aspects you can find a prezi presentation on this whole chapter in the link given here i will not go through it now but you can use this as study material health aspect means the health problems that you can suffer if you use ict devices incorrectly or for a very long time and the main ones that you can have are listed below there are five of them the main health aspects you can deal with are rsi back and neck strain eye strain headaches and ozone irritation let's go into each one of them in detail back or neck problems and strain are caused by sitting in front of a computer screen for a long period of time in the very same position so this might be something you experienced last year during the corona crisis how can we eliminate it use fully adjustable chairs that give you the correct posture don't sit on your bed or lie down while studying use footrests that reduce posture problems so if you're chair is too high you might want to use a footrest that keeps you in the correct posture also you can use tilted screens that ensure your neck is at the correct angle so this is one way we can solve this problem using fully adjustable chairs footrest and tilted screens now what if you have rsi rsi stands for repetitive strain injury repetitive strain injury means it's an injury caused due to strain because of doing some action repetitively all the time so this is common that you will have damage in your finger or your wrists by continuous use of keyboard or continuous clicking of mouses and so on you will find that people who work as uh, typewriters often suffer from this injury because they are constantly in a situation where they are typing um, something or clicking something how can we eliminate it you must ensure that you are maintaining correct posture wherever you are sitting and you are using a proper rest pad for your wrist you take regular breaks and you use ergonomic keyboards and also if uh, it's possible you can use voice activated software instead of always typing with your wrist another health aspect can be eye strain eye strain is caused if you stare at a computer screen for too long or there is incorrect lighting in your room this might be something you experienced last year as well if you are used to sitting in a dim or dull room and you were looking at the blue screen for a long time how can we eliminate it make sure that your screen is working properly and doesn't flicker use 
LCD screens instead of CRT screens. All the laptops we have now are LCD. Make sure you take regular breaks. This is common to solve RSI and eye strain. You can also use anti-glare screens or anti-glare uh, spectacles or window blinds and test your eyes regularly to make sure you don't cause any strain or injury to your eyes. These things are especially important if you end up in a job where you are in front of ICT equipment for a long time. Another health risk that can be caused by prolonged use of ICT equipment is headaches. Headaches are caused by having incorrect lighting on your screen, having some reflections on your screen or the screen is flickering and so on. How can you eliminate it? One of the things you can do is to use an anti-glare screen or use anti-glare spectacles or use window blinds to cut out the reflection and so on. Also, you can take regular breaks to make sure you are not causing a headache and you must make sure to test your eyes regularly. A health risk that might be new terminology for you is ozone irritation. Ozone irritation is actually caused by laser printers being used in closed spaces. So if you have a laser printer in an office that is running all the time, it produces ozone and this can cause dry skin issues with respiration and breathing and so on. How can you eliminate it? Make sure that the office has proper ventilation and a designated printer room is used with proper ventilation and also change to other type of printers if possible. Let's watch a video that explains a lot of what we have been covering so far. There is a lady. She seems to be sitting in the position where we are used to. So we are trying to fix her. She is having a wrong posture for her back and legs. So we fix her back to sit straight. Put a cushion if there is space between you and the sofa. Try to sit more back. Try to keep an arm rest or a lap rest. Then there is another guy who is ha also sitting in a way that we are usually sitting that causes back pain and neck strain. So we fix his posture and we make sure there is a 90 degree angle with your hand and also use the correct type of chair that is suitable for the size of your table and where your laptop is kept. And if your laptop is at a higher position, this will be better for your eyesight. And then you can use a keyboard instead of uh, typing on the laptop. Fix your window blinds so that you don't have issues with headaches. And this can be fixing that guy's problem. Now we have an example of a child who is on a desk. You can see her arms are very much upright. So we need to definitely put a cushion under her so that her arms are in a more comfortable position. And move closer to the table and be 90 degree also use a foot rest. These are some ways we can fix bad postures. If she is using it for a long time, she has to take regular breaks and go for some other activities or cycling in between. Taking regular breaks is important to not cause all the strain issues. All right. Now we have covered all the health aspects so far and we were talking about all the health issues that can be caused. Now we go on and talk about safety aspects of prolonged use of ICT. These are some of the safety aspects we need to take care of to ensure physical safety. You can have electrocution happening from spilling drinks. So the way to ensure this doesn't happen is to keep all drinks away from computers, ICT labs and office desks and make sure you check the insulation on wires regularly so that no electrocution happens. 
we can have equipment that overheats this can happen when there is not enough ventilation in the room and the equipment should not be kept covered while in use this is also important if you have a laptop with a laptop fan at the bottom of it then this laptop should not be kept on soft surfaces uh, there can be a danger of fire if sockets are overloaded so do not do what is shown in this picture there should not be overloading of sockets and low voltage hardware can be used another physical safety risk is uh, tripping tripping means you tend to fall over trailing cables so one thing you can do is don't use wired connection use wireless if at all you have cables make sure they are tucked away and they are kept away using cable depth some of the regular strategies you can use to minimize potential safety risks is to regularly maintain your equipment and check if it passes safety standards check what is the state of the cables and the plugs make sure nothing is exposed use wireless connection wherever possible ensure that uh, things that you can trip over are under desks or safely tucked away and make sure drinks are kept away from computers as the first uh, task for this lesson we are going to look at the picture given here and try to evaluate it to pick out what all safety risks you can find and how we can minimize it so let's try to solve this one safety risk is that you can see there are drinks kept next to the computer we must avoid this then you can see there's a lot of trailing cables this needs to be avoided and wireless can be used wherever possible or the wires should be carefully kept under duct tape also you can see there is overloading of sockets this is dangerous and needs to be avoided there is also water and other liquids kept next to the computer desk this needs to be avoided to avoid electrocution and you must keep your desk clean and neat so that food or other items are not nearby and so on as the second task for today try to think about our lab at school and think of how we can ergonomically make our ICT lab a better place so that it is more safe for our health and physical safety also you can suggest any equipment that needs to be changed as a homework for this chapter you have a bbc bite size quiz that needs to be completed as plenary for this lesson let's recap the correct posture that needs to be followed when you are having prolonged use of ict so this is the kind of way we are most of us are used to sitting with our back not against the rest and our legs in an improper angle and using our spine in the wrong way don't be like this instead we must make sure to have correct posture when we are sitting our eyes should be at a comfortable angle our back should be straight our legs should be at a correct 90 degree our feet should be on the floor our hands should have a correct angle with the keyboard shoulders must be relaxed and so on that's all for today girls hope this was an interesting lesson for you we will be continuing chapter 8 in the coming weeks take care assalam alaikum